All right, hello, Monday the 13th here. Um, got a workout today, a uh, little word play on the COVID-19 virus here. So we're gonna do a workout uh, with that in mind here. So we're gonna do um, a workout. So the exercises spell the word COVID. So we'll have an exercise start with C, O, V, I, D. Uh, will be the mindset behind that. And then we're gonna be doing 19 reps of every single one of these exercises here. So um, when a, a couple different timings on this, uh, we're gonna do the shortened version here. So we're gonna go for 12 minutes, getting as many rounds as possible with those five exercises. Again, 19 reps of each. So once you get done with the, the D exercise, which we'll explain shortly, we'll start back up with the C exercise, going as many rounds in 12 minutes. Uh, had this originally designed to go for 19 minutes, obviously, with the, that number in mind, but today we're going to do 12 minutes. If you want to challenge yourself, go a little bit further, go for those full 19 minutes. So, again, 19 repetitions of the following exercises. So we're going to do a weighted calf raise, so just kind of isolating those calves, get a little isolated burn there, um, holding on to anything any way you can. So you can hold on to some dumbbells, you can uh, step on a flex band, great tension there holding something in the front rack position, however you wanna do it. Uh, I'll demonstrate here shortly how I'm gonna do it uh, today. Uh, then we're gonna to go to an overhead lunge. And so we're gonna be holding some sort of weight uh, up over our heads for that lunge. Again, if that becomes too difficult, we lack the shoulder mobility to get into that position. If you've got issues with your shoulders and you feel like uh, being overhead for that long is gonna uh, hurt those, then just um, do uh, a weighted lunge off to your side. Uh, or you can just work on having that good vertical position with your arms and just go uh, overhead uh, without any resistance at all. Again, you can use something as simple as a water bottle. I'm gonna be holding one dumbbell over one uh, on one arm overhead, and I'm gonna switch arms uh, every time I need a break, or if I don't need a break every time I am going uh, into another round, uh, I'm planning on probably doing nine repetitions, switch arms, do another one, nine repetitions is probably how I'm gonna do it. Then we're going to go to V-ups. We've done in the past, but I'll redemo those in a second. Uh, next one is going to be inchworm push-ups. So working on a little bit of hamstring mobility as well as an upper body strength movement. Um, and then the last one will be deadlift. So um, again, just utilizing the same equipment throughout. Um, try and use uh, something similar that you've been using as far as the weighted calf raises or the overhead lunge. For me, I'm going to be holding two dumbbells like this for my calf raise, I'm gonna grab onto those same two kettlebells, uh, or excuse me, uh, same two dumbbells uh, for my deadlift as well, uh, but I'll show some options on there, okay? So again, here for our calf raises, um, you can hold on to a barbell, you can hold on right here, I got my kettlebell, and just working on 19 calf raises, coming up on those tiptoes up and back down there, okay? Again, the way that I'm gonna be doing it, I'm gonna hold on to two dumbbells and I'm gonna do my calf raises, holding on to those two dumbbells, okay? From there, setting one of these bells down, coming up overhead and going into an overhead lunge, alternating legs each time. Again, I'm gonna go nine repetitions, switch arms. Uh, if you wanna grab onto one dumbbell here, you know, something along those lines, you can do that. Again, if overhead's gonna be too much of a trouble, hang on, do it any way you can down here, or just go weightless on those lunges. Our V-ups. Okay, bring an upper and lower body together, up in the middle here, back down. Up to the middle, back down. Uh, alternative for that, arms, legs are bent. Back to straight, arms, legs are bent. So we're just kind of shortening those levers. Our inchworm push-ups. Okay, fun movement here. This one's gonna take the longest. I don't know that we're gonna get a ton of rounds in because this one's gonna take a while. But we bring, walk our hands out, do a push up, walk back up into that pipe position. Back down, do a push up, walk back. Okay, a lot of reps. Take your time, break them up as you need. Last one, deadlift. Again, we've demonstrated it with flex bands, stuff from the band. Forming those deadlifts here. You can hold on to a kettlebell or a backpack, something like that, hang on to the uh, handle of the backpack here. Again, it's a hip-driven movement, but travels backwards, all right? 
Again, I'm going to try and do it the same dumbbells I've been using for the cap raises. I'm going to go a little bit narrower base, dumbbell on each side. Come in here, back up, back up. All right. So, a couple of tendon stimuluses here. You can go light resistance and really cruise through these repetitions. I'm going to try and go a little bit heavier with my dumbbells, and I'm going to be going um, uh, probably getting less rounds is. Is there a balance on this one? So again, 19 minutes, or excuse me, 12 minutes, 19 reps, calf raises, overhead lunges, V-ups, inchworms, and deadlifts. Okay. So I'm gonna get a, a warm-up here going in just a second. Shut my phone down here. All right. So we're gonna get started with a warm-up. So we're gonna start off with some side-to-side -side hops to start getting that body warmed up. And again, I'll be setting a running clock if you want to set one too for those 12 minutes. Let's go ins and outs. We're going to get as many rounds in as we can in 12 minutes. Good, let's go right leg hops. Right leg. Let's go right leg side to side. Left leg side to side. Good, high knee raise. Any merch. Like poles. Good butt kick walks. Good, and then quad poles. And some skips. Good, let's get some big arm circles. Backwards. And side to side. Now let's hold that stretch here. Back. All right, so now let's have you pause the video. Uh, kind of set your stations up the way that you'd like it. Get your exercises, kind of transitions all set. Figure out how you're going to use resistance or if you're going to use resistance at all. And when you're ready, hit play and we'll get started. All right, so we're going to get started here. 12 minute running clock, as many rounds as possible, 19 reps of calf raises, overhead walking lunges, V-ups, inchworm push-ups, and deadlifts. We are starting in 10 seconds.
<laughs> Just over halfway. Two minutes left.
Ten seconds. Five seconds. Well, everybody has those days when their body doesn't feel right. It doesn't perform for you, but it's always better to get a little something in than nothing at all. Today was definitely one of those days for me, but good thing is we got it in. Worked out some stress from what people are having from the outside stressors for the COVID-19 for some of us. Some extra workload at work for it, but it's always good to get a little sweat in to release some of those good hormones in our body to fight off maybe some of the bad ones that are building up. Try and get a little walk in, get outside, enjoy the last couple minutes of sunshine, and have a great day.